other readers. Carol Pogash, a San Francisco, California journalist working as a stringer for the New York Times and former reporter for the San Francisco Examiner, recalled covering the kidnapping of her publisher's daughter, Patty Hearst, in 1974. Tell us about that story. That was a huge story. I was a very young reporter working for the San Francisco Examiner uh, when uh, the, our publisher, our boss's daughter, was kidnapped by this unknown, barely known group called Simeonese Liberation Army. And since I was probably the youngest reporter on the staff, they said, well, you, know, you can go and look for information about these young people who are doing the kidnapping. And it was a, it was a fascinating story to cover, and then to cover it for the newspaper that everyone was looking at for information made it, I suppose, a lot more intense. At times it was scary because I had a sense, and correctly, that the people from this organization, this uh, ragtag group of, they call themselves revolutionaries, lived in my neighborhood. And sure enough, one lived at, had lived down the block, one had lived around the corner. So it wasn't that difficult for me to gather information about them and try and piece things together. Uh, as people who uh, remember the story know, uh, after Patty Hearst had been there some weeks, she joined the uh, Siemenese Liberation Army and then started speaking out against her family and the elite in this country. Um, and uh, that was part of the Stockholm Syndrome, I'm sure, that right. she, uh, for survival purposes, started identifying kidnapped. But we did, well, we did report fairly and honestly yeah. about uh, what she was saying, what was going on, and they want us to do that. But they also want us to be careful about how we worded something. So it was the only time I've ever worked where we were censored a little bit. And the Hearst said we couldn't describe their house as a mansion. It was a mansion. We couldn't say Patty was an heiress. And there were other little concerns they had, which you know, in retrospect, it was pretty silly, but given the fact that it was her father who owned the paper and who was worried about her very survival, it was mm -hmm. understandable.